Hello, wonderful people, how are you? Welcome to the Hypnosis Academy. Today I'm gonna to talk very much about how to get yourself in order, how to get your house in order. If you wanna be a therapist, I'll tell you all about it on the other side. Personally, I think that being a therapist is is a beautiful gift for yourself. You know, it's a, um, a privilege to be a therapist, but it's also a really big responsibility. Why is it a big responsibility? Because you are going to enter into somebody's life. You are going to go in and you're going to lift up the bonnet or the hood and you're gonna start fiddling around with stuff. You've really, really got to be well balanced and you've got to understand what you're doing for you to go in and do a good job, okay? Because if you are not balanced, if you are not in a great place, then what happens is you can start projecting onto the person your issues, okay? projection is called yeah so basically you have a problem you listen to somebody and you say you've got this problem it's actually your problem but you project that onto that person and so what happens is you can then start to help them to overcome your problem and it's not their problem it's yours so how do you stop doing that well it's a long journey and it's a journey of Basically, for everything that you want to do to help other people, you've got to start and do that on yourself. You've really got to work on yourself. Over the years, I've attended so many courses, so many courses. When I started my first course, which was NLP, I was a mess. I was an absolute mess. I was all over the place. What I did have was the intention, a good intention. I wanted to help people. But I was a mess. I was an emotional mess. And it took me quite a while to actually get to the place where I felt balanced, okay? So it doesn't mean, I'm not saying that you shouldn't start helping people with therapy until you're balanced, because then you'll never ever help them, yeah? Because being balanced is something that, you know, balance is, is constantly being worked for. We're always having to balance ourselves it isn't, you know, you don't hit balance and that's it. We are a work in progress. But you need to get rid of the really heavy negative weights. Definitely. Definitely. Um, I attended lots of courses with people that I would look at and think, wow, they have a lot of problems. It was very clear that they had a lot of problems. Now, what happened was, what I saw happening was that people who had a lot of problems would not always make the right choices about how they would deal with an issue. So I suppose to be able to help somebody, you've got to be just that little bit better. And when I say better, I don't mean a better person. I mean, you've got to be a little bit more emotionally, spiritually and physically healthy than that person. I've seen people who teach diet here in uh, Spain. My parents-in-law went to a dietitian who was obese. She was overweight and she was giving them a diet. That is not where we want to be. And that can work emotionally as well. You know, if you're helping somebody with depression and sadness, you've really got to be not depressed and sad. You know, if, if you you need to have overcome that. If you're helping somebody to lose weight, you need to be in a good place. You know, you need to be healthy. And it's the same with emotions. If you're helping somebody with emotions, you're helping them to get better. You need to be in a better place than them. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to help them. You know, and yeah, sometimes it's easier to see other people's problems than to see your own. However, it's also very easy to project your problems under other people. So being a therapist for me is a constant re-evaluation of where you are, constantly looking to make yourself better, 
constantly looking to get more balance in your life, to find yourself, yeah? So for me, the ideal therapist is somebody who constantly is doing therapy to themselves, who is constantly working on themselves, who is constantly aiming to be the very best version of themselves that they can be. That would be somebody I'd want to have help from, somebody who really is trying to be better, and that would be great, yeah? When you're working with people, you are giving them your vibration. Your vibration should be set at such a level that it elevates other people up. That's where you need you, because every interaction is an interaction of an, an energetic interaction, emotional interaction. You always want the person to come away from the time that they spent with you feeling just that little bit better, feeling better about themselves. And how you do that, I mean, you can just have a conversation. How many conversations have you had with somebody? And when you've come away, you think, wow, I feel really good now. That's because that person's in a good place and they were able to help you with their energetic vibration, their signature to bring you up. Okay, and sometimes when you get two people with great signature, they get this beautiful upward spiral and both of them are feeling absolutely fantastic at the end. So that's your job. Get yourself into a great place. Work to be better, a better version of yourself every day, all right? And how to do that is you've got to start looking at yourself. You've really got to turn around and look at yourself and start asking yourself, where in my life Am I not being true? Where in my life am I lying to myself about what I'm doing? You know, we talked about people who have addictions and they will always justify that addiction. They'll justify it. So where are you justifying yourself? Where are you justifying your behaviors? Where are you justifying what you choose to eat or what you choose to ingest, what you choose to think? Yeah. That's where you work on that. Work on becoming the truthful version of yourself, being true to yourself. That's what it's all about, okay? And it's a journey for life. It's never over, okay? I'm not saying for a moment that I'm there, but I'm working on it. I'm working all the time on it. And that's all that we need to do. That's the best that we can do. Just be a few steps ahead. Be a few steps ahead of your, of your clients enough to be able to pull them in the right direction yeah okay have a beautiful week i'll see you all later i love you all bye